This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello everyone. Maester Alix here and we're up for another Saturday update. First off, let me say I'm very glad to be here. This last week has actually been really good. Now that December's over, January is settling in, and work is going quite well. Let's start off with some channel news. And uh, first off, uh, my videos keep slipping on their dates because I don't have an XCOM 2 filling in where it is, so I need to find myself another game to fill that in. Thinking something maybe in the 40k range, because uh, my Mechanicus playthrough is going pretty well, and I'm really enjoying that. Though I, uh, I kind of fall, want to fall back to Fallout 4. There was this one build I've always wanted to do and never did, and that was the Mad Bomber. And, you know, throw grenades, have an explosive rifle, you know, all that kind of good stuff. All right, uh, what's next? Oh, uh, Transformers. My online Transformers game is going extremely well. Uh, this last weekend, I had just an amazing time. I, I tapped into something deep and did probably some of the best writing of my life. And it was all based around this one character named Amy Winters. Uh, she's a member of the Earth Defense Council, whom is not on the best f footing with the Autobots. Yeah, because they're the Earth organization. They have all the resources. And while they don't have as much tech, they're trying to get their hands on it as best they can. And reverse engineer. There's been some mild success with that. But they're more easily able to coax Transformers to joining them because they have all the resources. Like, oh... You want, you want Energon? We can make Energon. That's not a problem. Over the last weekend, Amy Winters had a really uh, intricate death. So, previous weekend, we had this really nasty Decepticon named Servo Break get captured because he went somewhere he shouldn't have. He got captured and he was on his way to Autobot Jail and... The third in command of the Autobots, a NPC called Mr. Stamper, who, he's a, a post-delivery robot, at least that's what he looks like, secretly hates humans, breaks this guy out of prison to torture and kill three humans. Amy Winters, EDC member, Mark Snow, her partner, and this one poor civilian who works at the, uh, uh, well, the place is called Looky Lose, so you can imagine what... Anyway, she's very much innocent in all of this for what he's having her punished for. And of course, the psycho torturer is like, yes, I would love to have some freedom and to torture these people as much as I like. This will be great. So Mr. Stamper flexes his influence, gets this guy a place to stay, some money, a place to hide, and a place to work. And unfortunately, he grabbed her up and tortured and killed her. It was very sad and pathetic. After that, I did some really great writing about her passing on and well, her what she sees in the afterlife, her final requests, and how it got, you know, fulfilled. And it was great. I really enjoyed it. I'm really, really enjoying my tr online Transformers time. And uh, if anyone else wants to hear more stories about that, please comment below or hit me up on Discord. I can share tons of these stories. Anyway, uh, now on to the next part, which is uh, reading stories. Call the police over milk? Okay. Short but sweet story. Took place probably 15 years ago. Some details are at best barely remembered. I was working in the cash register at my place of employ, a pharmacy with a corner store attached. Emphasis on corner. The customer comes up with a gallon of milk. I ring him up and inform him that his total is something along the lines of $3. He goes from normal human person to incensed screaming ape in the span of a breath. He screams at me that I'm ripping him off, that I must have changed the price. Now, 15 years ago, I was a novice at retail at best. All I really know was to say, but the register. After a moment, to get over this person going demonic on me, I realized what was going on. I go, oh, sir, I see. The milk is on sale, two for five dollars. You're only getting one, so that's two dollars and eighty cents. He thrusts his finger to my face. That's illegal. You have to sell me one for two fifty. No, sir, I'm sorry, but the cl sign clearly says... And he screeches like some kind of orangutan and pulls out his cell. I'm calling the police! Hearing these magic words, my manager arrives and escorts the man aside to wait his removal from our store by the very police he called. Moral of the story? Don't call the police over a matter of 30 cents. You will get hauled off. 
Well, with that story done, and everything else talked about, here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying these Saturday updates, and I shall see you all on the next one.